I must say that the, the tour was very educational. Um, meeting the respective um, stakeholders as it pertains to where we went. Um, we see the need for us to have some continuity based on the plans that we, we agree with. For, for example, in the case of Fon Asso, um, like, like we explained to the person who is leasing the facility from us, Paradise Foods, that arrangements has to be made to accommodate the rural women of, from the cluster from, from Babono. Um, I'm happy that Ica is on board and we're now seeing how we can, in the short term, make, make provision for them to operate um, within the existing facility. Of course, with the intention of building a separate structure for them on the compound um, where they can continue with their operations. Because that matter has been, last, um, um, has been a long outstanding matter. It's almost eight years. Um, they have been promised and likelihood from some of the women the, the frustration is there mm -hmm. because it's promises upon promises and nothing is really happening so it's definitely we are definitely going to see how we can move and advance the, the commitments that i made in 2010 actually to to the rural women and to to give them the support that is needed for them to at least start manufacturing on a, on a la larger scale and especially now that they have realized the group started after them, that the Angers Rural Cluster has gotten a, a home to, for them to operate. So that even giving them, even, even the need to put more pressure and to, um, to express the, 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 the level of disappointment and, this, and, and dissatisfaction as the piece of which things happen in France. So, so I'm happy that um, we are able to identify a clear path moving forward and I'm sure when we sit down and we look at the resources and, and with the support of ECA, we can come up with some clear schedules, timelines, so at least we can monitor ourselves as it pertains to us. The central marketing board is very interesting, Sydney. Um, going down to visit the, the, the outlets, I was very much satisfied to see the level of traffic that, that we experienced at the central marketing board and the comments that we got from those persons who were purchasing, saying thank you to the government for reconsidering the, the, the decision not to close. But we never, we never had the decision to close. Uh, we always said that we were going to restructure and the main fact we closed for two weeks was a requirement for us to do, keeping keeping with the, the laws of St. Lucia. Well, like, I, like we said as a government, there's need for us to really restructure the central marketing board. We have always said that there's need for central marketing to give support to our farmers. I'm happy that cabinet um, agreed to the, 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 the respective recommendation that we made as a ministry as to the way forward. Um, we had to close to look at how we come on board with a new entity and to really re-emphasize that we, it was never our intention to close any of the facilities. What we have been saying is that there's need for us to restructure these facilities, and that's what our, my Prime Minister has been saying, that's what the Cabinet has been saying. So I'm happy that we are, have kept to our promise, we have kept to our commitment. Um, we are really looking forward after the, the budget, the commencement of the, the, the financial year, to engage a number of our farmers in the export substitution program. And this new entity will play a very important role moving forward as it pertains to giving support to, to that program. Um, we have identified over 350 farmers. We have gotten support from the government of Taiwan as it pertains to financial support and technical support. And as soon as we have finished the budget process, we shall see the commencement of the, that project. So the Submission Marketing Board, the new entity, is critical in, in assisting us in accomplishing the objectives that we have set ourselves as it pertains to this project. for the Maliways 
Because you know the Malawis don't have a lot of money. I made a market selling a heap of these five dollars. And when we come inside of the uh, when we come inside of there, we could buy one if we could afford one. If we want two, we could afford two. You know, we can't go by the market and buy the big heap. It's, it's sold by the pound. Uh, you so hair sell by the pound, and we, 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 if we could afford it, we just come and buy one pound. So when you close a store like that, what going to happen to the little Malawi people? You understand? So you, you, you leave the place open like that and help the rest of the farmers that could bring in the goods in here. The farmers has welcome back the St. Lucia marketing board being back on stream because I think from yesterday we have done put um, service about 35 farmers in the Angers area. In our indoor department we have done over 20 odd farmers so I think it's a very good thing now. They are very happy. And that was one of the concerns that the farmers had in terms of the restructuring of the marketing board. What would have taken place in that period? And I think they have welcomed that the marketing board has come back on stream in order to service them in terms of selling their produce. I think with the ministry being on board right now, they'll be getting their payment from. Very critical to the, the project that we have identified is the question of technology. And that is why we took the opportunity to, to visit the two greenhouses that was donated to us by the government of Mexico with the whole intention of supporting our programs and policies as it pertains to producing the local crops that we can produce on a sustainable basis. There is need to give support, especially to the, to, to the private farmer, where you can see the level of enthusiasm. And it's very encouraging to see a young farmer, a young female farmer, Right, leaving a, a job that where she, you can say it was a secure job, getting a monthly salary and taking that bull challenge to go, get involved in agriculture. We had some challenges, but maybe up until the second year, things started to pick up. We've been doing a lot better. We have a few hotels on board who purchase from us on a weekly basis, so that's been helping us a lot. We provide a lot of tomatoes, watermelons and bell peppers to them on a weekly basis. One of the major, major issues that we would have is um, the heat in here. But with the greenhouses, it also helps a lot, especially in the rainy season. That's the advantage that we have. Um, like it's just a bit too warm. Even to work in it, it's, it's very labor intensive and um, we don't get as much done as we would like to. Hopefully in the long run when it is, we'll be able to maximize it to the best of our abilities. And I know it's going to benefit us a lot. Our markets will be more consistent with what we produce and we'll not only be able to do, let's say, the green bell peppers, but those that the hotels are asking for, the orange, the yellow, different types of peppers, chocolate peppers, which they import all of the time, we'll be able to, to do that for them instead. biggest challenge is a reliable market. She produces and she cannot get a reliable market. And that is all, all that you took into consideration when we said there's a need for us to restructure the central marketing board because we know one of the critical hurdles for our farmers, especially um, our short-term crop farmers, is the whole aspect of a reliable market. You cannot have farmers producing out there and there's no, not a reliable market to one purchase and two to pay them on a timely basis. So that is a, a challenge that according to her that she has and I, I, I am hoping that we can, as quickly as possible, with the Structural Senator Marketing Board, give her the type of encouragement for her to continue, because she can be, what you call, a catalyst. She can be an innovator, encouraging more young persons to get involved in the technology, get involved in agriculture. I'd just like to probably encourage a lot of young persons to get into the agriculture, instead of going into all the other businesses that's already flooded, try to do something different try to um, employ persons instead of going out there seeking employment. It's a lot of hard work, but in the long run, it, it actually pays off.
So at least I won't commit myself to, to monthly, but at least to quarterly, especially now we're talking about the, the Agriculture Feeder Road program, where we're looking to, to, um, to improve a number of these roads. So it'll be a little bit necessary for me to go out there and interact with the farmer. And also to monitor underground our import substitution program, because that's critical. And my, I have to make, or the leadership have to be underground with the farmers, with the officers, to see to it that they, they, they really commit to, to the success of this project. So I'm happy that um, I was able, with my PS and Deputy PS and the leadership of the Ministry, to go out on the field um, to meet with the farmers, to interact with them, to meet with the respective stakeholders, to interact with them and to get feedback from them as to how we can do things better. Especially now, we're going to start a new financial year and of course we have all these protect and stream. We need to interact with the people, let them know what, we, what our plans are, hear from them how we can make it better, hear some what the challenges are. And of course, not only challenges, but to hear from them what are the recommendations moving forward. So I want to say thank you very much for that support.